I can't imagine a better small town in America. Um, I genuinely can't. There's an ease to life here that I value. You'll never find a more comfortable place to live, regardless of what stage in your life you're at. There's always something to do, always a festival or a restaurant's having a pop-up dinner or something like that. It's the perfect blend of everything, honestly. We love the schools here. We love the people here. We love the food here. We're sports fans. There's a lot to like about Oxford. It's a beautiful place. It's got a lot of charm. Someone is always welcoming you with a smile and saying, hey. So the small things can be appreciated here. There is that excitement about new things being accepted here. And there always has been that about Oxford. Something original is welcomed here. William Faulkner's fictional town, Jefferson, was Oxford. People come here because you don't have many chances in the United States to see the home of a Nobel Prize winning author. When I first moved to Oxford, everyone said, oh, it's a great literary town, but I think it's really evolved into a great arts town. There are arts programs at the powerhouse and throughout the community every day of the year. There's great film stuff happening now, and yes, the literary continues, but there's also an amazing music scene. Like every kind of arts you're interested in, it's here in Oxford. There's live music almost every night of the week here. There's also a pretty high caliber of touring acts that come through town on a monthly basis. You always got some activity going on. You got the diverse people. You got the grove. In a university, the mindset of everybody's in there is always positive. The university exudes a, an aura of culture. It just creates this environment that, uh, that is unique to a university town. There are more amazing restaurants in this small town than there are in some of the bigger cities that we've traveled to. And the food's unique, it's fresh, and it, it takes advantage of the farming roots here, and it's just, it's awesome. Our teachers, uh, our administrators, and the community and parents are all committed to making sure that our students are able to excel academically. There is a huge wealth of medical services here. To have this level of technology, expertise, and capability is truly extraordinary for a town of this size. We're able to compete nationally for talent and at the same time give people a small town atmosphere. People love to go to the square. They love to go have coffee. They love to hang out. They love to be able to walk around, which is great. Obviously, it's a wonderful place to go to college, a wonderful place to retire, but it's great to have young children here. It's great to have high schoolers here. And even when you're kind of empty nested and you're in your 40s and 50s and your kids are gone away, there's still a lot of fun activities around the community for you to do. Oxford is a great place to be active because there's so much to do all within a few miles of each other. You've got the university and all of its athletic events. So not only can you watch sports, you can participate in a whole bunch of different things. There's 62,000 acres of public land surrounding Oxford. Any kind of outdoor recreation that you'd want to get into is just minutes away. We spend half of our time at the museum, at the college, at the powerhouse, at Square Books doing Thacker Mountain Radio, and then it has a cool restaurant, so it's got everything you need. There's something about being able to be here and be part of this place that so many people love. There's an appeal to it that's absolutely undeniable. We have sports, we have arts, we have health care, we have friends, we have fabulous food. I honestly cannot think of any place I'd rather be.